Well, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can recover lost or deleted files using the shadow volume copies now you've got two methods of doing this you can either use the previous versions or you can use shadow explorer which is a piece of software i prefer to use shadow explorer uh, one thing that you have to remember is you must have your system restore enabled for this to work so let's take a look at previous versions here so we're going to have a look here uh, at our drives. You can see I've got Windows 7, Windows 10 and a few other drives. So let's take a look at previous versions. Click properties and previous versions. Here we have all our data that we can access. Now if you look here, this is the furthest I can go back, the 26th of the 5th, 2016. This is because I deleted all my system restore points and uh, this emptied out the whole of the shadow volume copies so I could claim back some space on my SSD but let's just say for instance that you created a file you could go back uh, literally a year or more let's just say you created a file six months ago a word document and you wanted to uh, recover that file from six months ago you could come in here and go to the location and recover that file so let's just say we wanted to recover let's say we wanted to recover this reg backup file we could recover it and i could just drag this onto my machine and i, I could recover this file pretty straightforward and easy to do so i to just go like this and you can see click ok and that file will then be transferred onto my desktop i've got uh, hidden icons on my desktop uh, not showing but basically it's on my desktop so let's take a look at another way of doing this so if we look at say shadow explorer now shadow explorer is a free piece of software you can use you can use the installer or you can use the portable app that comes with it, it goes right away up to windows 10 and uh, you can also use this to recover all your files and folders now if you've been hit by ransomware sometimes using this can recover your encrypted data from a time before uh, but that's not always possible but it's always a chance to get your data back now, you are going to need to have the dotnet framework installed on your system so let's fire her up you'll get the uh, UAC click yes to this and this will open up the Shadow, uh, Shadow Explorer. Now you can see it's not detecting anything here on my F drive. You can see I do have an F drive here and it's not detecting anything. So let's take a look at the G drive and see if it detects anything on there. Nope, it doesn't detect anything on the G drive. And the reason for this is because we don't have the system restore set up. So let me just show you how to quickly do that, just in case you want to set this up so you can explore this. Now, obviously, my C drive does work. You can see here I can go back right to the 26th of the 5th, and I can choose much easier to select dates and times to go back. Now, you probably have a massive list here if you've not emptied it out. So you can see I can go back to the 26th of the 5th. And if I wanted to uh, recover, say, Reg Backups. So to, to recover this file inside Shadow Explorer, you right-click and export this file. And you can export it to where you like. So you can select the location where you want to uh, save this. I'm going to save it to my desktop here. You can create a new folder if you wish. And click OK. And it will then say there's already one exists on there because we just did that. I'm going to say yes to all and overwrite that and there we have that backup done so let's go back to what I said previously which is there's no visible files or folders on the G Drive so it's going to go to the start button right click on computer and go properties then we can go system protection straight into system protection here you can now see we have our system restore area and if we come down and use the pull down 
tab here, you can see they're turned off. It's off on Windows 10, off on the D drive, and off on the G drive. Now to enable this, you would then hit configure, and you can see turn system, uh, turn off the system protection. Here is where you can turn it on, so you can see only, rest only restore previous version files, or you can do restore system settings and previous version files. And you can select the amount that you want, as you can see here, depending on how much how many uh, restore points you want to keep backing up to. The larger this, the more it will keep backing up. You can see here. And you can delete them as well, all your restore points, and start afresh. So if you wanted to do that, you just click Apply and OK, and that would be that. So let me just do this. And now we need to create a restore point. So we can say back up, push create, and it will now start to create this. And over time, this will continue to create restore points to there and other locations. So let me just do this and let this create a restore point for that. Now, bearing in mind that this does take a lot of space. Uh, over the course of time so you may need to clear some of these out from time to time I'm going to now click OK and if I just change the drive again to say C and then back to G you'll see it will populate there you go so now we can see what's in there we can see our Steam library and whatnot now there's one thing I wanted to point out here is if you have a SSD drive like I do here you can see, uh, if we look at the desktop here, and go properties, I've changed the location to my E drive, and I also changed the destination for my downloads, and you can do that by looking at location here. Now what you need to remember is, if you're looking at your C drive, you may see uh, my documents and stuff like that inside here so let me just show you here you may see my documents like this when you click on it there won't be anything in there they're pointed to the, a different location so you will need to go to that path of where that stuff is okay so just bear that in mind so that's basically how you can recover all your data and files and folders using Shadow Explorer and previous versions. So I hope this video helps you out guys. If it does, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload any new videos. If you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests or anything like that, then head over to the forums. And if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then you can pop over there and give us a little like up over there. Anyway, have a great day and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.